Hey guys, it's Morgan Zeggers, and you probably haven't even heard this yet because the mainstream media is covering it up, refusing to cover it, but a string of domestic terror attacks are taking place across the country, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it so far. Now you might be wondering, Morgan, what the heck, why haven't we heard about a string of domestic terrorist attacks happening around America? Well, I'll answer it for you first. It's because it's radical leftist activists pro-abortion activists that are attacking both firebombing and regular vandalizing pro-life centers across the country. That's right. So far, as of mid-June 2022, over 23 pro-life centers, women's health centers that support women who choose life, they have been firebombed or vandalized by radical pro-abortion activists. 23 at least. These radical domestic terrorists have been targeting women's health centers, pregnancy care centers, and other health-related pro-life organizations and buildings. These attacks all started to happen as soon as the leak occurred of the Roe v. Wade decision coming from the Supreme Court that would overturn that decision from 1973. First of all, leaking a Supreme Court decision before it's announced to the public is a horrendous breaking of tradition. It is national precedent to have a political courts. Second, we all have to understand that the goal of the leak in the first place was to scare the justices to change their votes in the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Most recently, we found out that a deranged man from California who was a pro-choice activist, pro-abortion activist, traveled from California all the way to the East Coast just to assassinate Brett Kavanaugh, the Supreme Court Justice, over this Roe v. Wade decision. And the only reason he didn't assassinate a sitting Supreme Court justice was because he called into 911 and reported himself. The authorities and law enforcement and the protection agencies that are supposed to be there for our justices, especially in moments like this, didn't even realize what was happening. And on top of that, we now have reports that these lunatics are now sharing addresses of Amy Coney Barrett's church services and her schedule for church and for dropping her kids off at school and at other outside activities. To see these intimidation tactics being played out over our justices threatening their lives and their children's lives is bad enough, right? But now, to know that over 20 pro-life centers that are there to provide and support a family and their children when a woman chooses life is just an entire new level of evil. These radical leftists claim to be pro-choice, but it just turns out that they're so obsessed with being able to kill children in the womb that they would rather destroy and threaten and intimidate women and any organizations trying to provide them resources, anybody who chooses life instead of abortion. They are leaving one cryptic message almost everywhere they go, that if abortions aren't safe, then neither are you. 